would Nazi Germany have been a cashless society if the technology was available? Nazi Germany would have been a cashless society if the technology was available because they already used technical means to deprive people of their cash. So it's one thing to confiscate cash. It's another thing to prohibit the transmission of cash or the transactions of cash or currency or value based upon electronic means. Now, <clears throat> you have heard of um, uh, the credit society where people are enabled to um, uh, get credit cards and buy uh, shoes and things at the store based on a credit card. If your credit goes bad, you can't use your credit card, correct? <clears throat> but you could, even if your credit goes bad, you can still take a $5 bill, go into the grocery store, and buy yourself some bread and some milk. Under the cashless society, with one click, you can be, un you, you can be delisted from having a transaction. So while you can call it the cashless society or corporate America or the global corporations can call it a cashless society so it's convenient, so we're not burdened with dollar bills and things. There's a dark side to that. This is Promethean. This is a great convenience and also a great avenue to individual destruction, a great avenue toward the um, uh, confiscation, not of money, but of personal liberty. Imagine what would happen if the government in uh, Syria, North Korea, China, uh, Libya, uh, certain parts of the United States, it, maybe Northern I uh, Ireland, whatever society you wish to look at, decides that it can push a button and stop people from having a transaction. Now, they can already push a button and stop your MasterCard in a moment's notice. But can they actually push a button and stop you from buying bread? That's what the cashless society will do. So once you, once you can establish that modality, everything else flows from that. First we invent the gun, and then we invent what we will do with the gun. Do we defend? Do we hunt for food? Do we murder? Do we mass murder? Do we have target practice? We put food on the table. These are the Promethean issues that face us with the cashless society, which is merely the next, the next approach, the next step, rather, the next step in a society which is controlled and mass-controlled and centralized. Just when we were decentralizing our lives, we are centralizing the control of our life. Uh, fundamentally, what is the difference in technology? between what was available to the Germans and what is available now, besides simply the speed of... Is there any difference, really? The speed is, uh, identify, is a major difference. What, Hitler, what took Hitler repeat efforts with IBM cards, program after program, to register the Jews, to exclude them from society, to confiscate their assets. The fourth area was ghettoization. The fifth is... Uh, uh, is deportation. The sixth is extermination. That long process can now be done at a moment's notice with a click of a button. And further than that, in the case of the Nazis, people like my father were able to survive the Nazi onslaught because he had blonde hair. Be, uh, other people were not able to survive because they were required to wear a yellow star or had an ID card. And anyone who didn't have a yellow star and ID card who needed to have one um, could, could be shot. Now, what was the purpose of the yellow star? The yellow star was to warn people, there's a Jew there, or this man cannot sit on that bench, or this man cannot walk into that store. These are Jews. Now imagine if nobody needs a yellow star and nobody needs blonde or brown hair and everybody can be identified for their value, for their ag advocacy, for their enemy character, for their adversary nature, 
based upon some arbitrarily decided feature. Are they Jews? Are they young protesters in Iran? Are they Uyghurs? Are they Tutsis? Are they Hutus? Are they the tribe from the dry, tribe of, of Gaddafi? Are they from the tribe of Eastern Libya, Western Libya? Now, with the cashless society, not only can you not only turn off the switch of credit, not only can you turn off the internet of communication, you could actually prohibit people from using the very means that civilization pioneered 7,000 years ago to prevent or rise above, not prevent, rise above war, which is, you got something, I want it. Am I going to kill you for it, or am I going to trade you for it? That made economic systems. That meant a unit of monetary exchange. That was cash. That was the basis for the cradle of civilization Mesopotamia 7,000 years ago with the Code of, Ham of Hammurabi.